Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to this channel. I'm Justin, I do indie dev development, and in this one I wanted to show something I've been prototyping for a, a little bit, maybe a couple months now. Not a lot of work put into it, but just a concept using some of the stuff I've already made with Alien Life Lab. So we got this spike ball here, you know, just like the uh, what I call tutorial balls that have been in the game. And I thought to myself, what if this was like its own little mini game? And they split in two. And then maybe there could be a count. And, you know, just a simple idea for, for a, a game, a constant game. But there was a problem with this. Uh, as of right now, when they split, I mean, they can hit each other and that counts too. But when they split, it'll just continually keep continuously keep splitting <laughs> to where there will be so there, it, it'll maybe burn some people's CPUs down um, I'm gonna try to push this to as far as I can to see to show you like what happens after a while I could just make it to where when they bump into each other it doesn't count as a hit and we went through the wall but I mean would that be any more fun? I think it's fun that they hit each other and it counts. Because you can kind of hit them that, towards each other and you get a point in a way. A hit. Okay, it's getting a little out of hand now. Oop. make a strange sound when they split it. It changes the pitch every time it plays the audio. Or rather, right before it plays the audio, it randomizes the pitch. Okay. So as you can see, ooh, 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 they're getting uh, <laughs> out of hand. And they're splitting quite rapidly now. And there's quite a little a bit of geometry involved in physics. Right, I'm just gonna run through until they kill me. Oh my gosh. Anyway, that's the uh that's the concept that I, I had in my back pocket that I've been kinda teasing myself with. Uh weird, right? Nah, who cares? Uh Basically, the idea though is I like it. I like it, but it's just that it, it gets out of hand very quickly, um, and I don't know how far it could go to where it could just become an infinite game until your computer burns up. <laughs> I mean, it could technically get that way until you lose, of course. Maybe make the lose state like so ridiculous that there's no way that it would fry someone's computer. Maybe that would work. Um, I might have to add something to add ammunition if the players want to use these physics based bullets and guns from the game. Oh, not a shotgun ammo. And I don't have the third weapon. Um, but yeah, this is this is cool. This is a cool experiment. I'm gonna kind of keep it, and I might use this prefab in some other way. Uh, maybe not make a mini game out of it. Maybe just make one level based off of these, because I think this is fun. I mean, it's just using the physics engine with the the physics to make things bounce. It's as soon as the, the script touches and collides with the player, it hurts the player. They collide each other, it counts, they get hit, they have health. It's basically uh, one of the aliens, one of the enemies in the game. Except for the, for the physics bouncing it around and the, uh, the unendingness of it. Okay, alright. I think that's enough for now. <laughs> that was pretty cool how that one shrunk there. Alright, thanks for watching and checking this out. Um, like I said, I don't know what else I'm going to do with this, but... I'll see you in the next video, and thank you for your time. Uh, check out my game, Alien Life Lab. It means a lot to me for people to play and give a review, and I want to constantly improve it, and, and that's all i got to say. Bye-bye.